Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we could all be seated, please. Uh, at this time, uh, I'd like to call on, especially anyone that has another amendment, if you do, uh, Chairman Katzman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'll speak up as best I can. Uh, I have going on 20 years of experience as a corporate practice attorney. I counsel Fortune 500 companies and start companies and nonprofit companies and bylaws is my lifeblood. These bylaws are not ready for adoption, Mr. Chair. They run from the minor things like the president of the Rhode Island Young Democrats. The name of the organization is Young Democrats of Rhode Island. Well, here, here. However, let's get to something more substantive. Uh, Article 1, Section 1B. Uh, changes the uh, number of at-large members and notes that um, it lists various minority groups, including, and I'm quoting from the proposed bylaws, uh, uh, including but not limited to African-American, Black community, the Latino, Hispanic community, and the Asian-American Pacific Island community. Mr. Chairman, could you, seeing that we, all, we have approximately two minutes, yes. could you describe your amendment and put it in play, yes. please? So, my amendment is the Democratic National Charter, which the proposed bylaw changes reference, states that to encourage full participation of all Democrats, with particular concern for minority groups, blacks, Native Americans, Asian Pacific and Hispanics, and Spanish are included in all party affairs. Native Americans wasn't included in these bylaws. I'm sure that was an oversight and not intentional. This just goes to show that not enough due care was done in preparing these bylaws amendments. I can propose simple changes like that, which everybody will go, yeah, of course, they're Americans. Uh -huh. We can do that for about 20 minutes, Mr. Chair. I'm giving the floor for Okay. And so everybody if, having no paper Mr. Mr. Chairman, is your amendment to amend it to include any minority group that we may have inadvertently left out. What is your specific amendment? Could you please state it so I can repeat it? Well, my specific amendment, as I said, I have a I can't hear you. My specific what amendment would be to include Native Americans in the okay. section where the list of minorities are proposed. I have others that are that are just as important and reflect the national chart. Which would you like to go with? That one? <laughs> sure. Why not? This is a charade after all. Uh, excuse me. So you move the amendment? Uh, I move the amendment, and at the end of all of the amendments, I propose we vote no. I don't expect you will. Uh, but I propose we vote down the uh, proposed amendments, not because they're bad, not because they harm the women's office or whatever, but because the party leadership can absolutely get everything it needs and is concerned about in caucuses and everything else, and satisfy the concerns of the caucus members. If you simply had a conversation with them. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, is there a second? First of all, second. this is relating to and possible inadvertent omission. Okay, so uh, second. Yes. And your name is Aaron Pierce. Aaron Pierce. Second. Uh, I motion to table. <laughs> oh, motion to table. Is there a second? Second. 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 All those in favor of motion to table, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. I believe the ayes have. Uh, <laughs> Very <laughs> close vote. It's over. Are there any more amendments? Vote's over. Senator Bell, you're on board. Please lay it out for us. 
Best practice is we don't do division on every vote. We'll be here all night. No, but I've never had the right to call for division. Are there any other amendments? Please raise your hand. No, no, no. Say your name. No, no, no. That, you cannot just shout out and then, oh, well, all of this one passed and this one just makes a charade of democracy and it's supposed to be the Democratic Party. Why don't we care about violence? Ladies and gentlemen, 